We're here in the beautiful Amsterdam at the Rai Convention Center at Money 2020 and we meet uh, Max Barendrecht uh, from BitPay. How are you doing? Good, thanks for having me. Yeah. BitPay is a very well-known name in crypto. I think it's the biggest uh, Bitcoin provider, payment provider out there. Yeah, so we're the largest blockchain payment processor in the industry. We've been around since 2011. Mm -hmm. And what we basically do is we allow merchants to accept Bitcoin as a method of payment from their customers while we settle these merchants in their own native currency. So we basically shield them from any of the volatility or anything that has to do with handling the Bitcoin, handling the, the, the payments. Uh, they just receive cash just as they would with any other payment method. So yeah, here in Money 2020, you, you're still like the, the little player, I think, with one billion dollars of payments, but but uh, you're getting there. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're really proud to have reached uh, 1.2 billion dollars, over 1.2 billion dollars in payments uh, last year for the second time in a row. Uh, of course, when you look at all the giants that are standing here, we're we're, we're a pinprick. But when you look at the blockchain industry and how young it is, we're actually quite proud of uh, what we've uh, re um, reached so far. Hmm. Are you in talks with these big names like Visa, MasterCard or, or even banks? Yeah, definitely. And the uh, interesting thing is that they are really wanting to talk with us because they know that blockchain is not going away and Bitcoin w is there to stay. So hmm. they're keeping their eyes open. They don't, they're not really sure how to go about it, but uh, they're definitely interested to hear what we have to say. All right. Let's, let's focus a bit on your service because uh, customers can pay with Bitcoin and the merchants accept the Bitcoin and you actually convert it in dollars or euros. Correct. That's that's basically what we do. And how does it, uh, uh, with, with regulation and KYC AML procedures, how does it work? So we do extensive KYC on the merchant as the merchant is basically our customer. Mm -hmm. And then it's on the merchant to their KYC on the end payers uh, as they would have to do anyways. Uh, apart from that, we do use a third-party tool called Chainalysis to analyze whether the payments have ever been in contact with uh, malicious sources like uh, uh, dark dark net uh, markets. Uh, so we do do checks on that, um, but our main KYC is focused on the merchant itself. Yeah, a few weeks back there was this big deal with AT&T, I think it's one of the biggest companies in the US, accepting uh, yeah, Bitcoin payments. So, so can you tell something about it? Yeah, it's an interesting one. It's, and again, it's one we're really proud of. Um, at first, you, you saw that we were mainly servicing the blockchain industry itself. So it was all the companies that were around like um, uh, trading platforms or, or, or exchanges that the companies that are servicing them were the first ones to accept Bitcoin as their customers, which were in the crypto industry, were having this Bitcoin and wanting to spend it. And now you're seeing a trend over the last couple of years that actually it's consumers who more and more are wanting to pay with Bitcoin as opposed to their uh, their regular payment method. So it's an interesting one. It's an interesting shift uh, shift to see and a promising one uh, in our opinion. All right. So, so in the the conclusion is Bitcoin is a way, uh, is a means of payment and will be a future means of payment or? Yeah, definitely. I definitely think so. I mean, it has a lot of um, positive uh, aspects uh, as opposed to, to regular currencies. I mean, it's borderless. It's a, it's a worldwide currency. It's, it's fast. It's instant. It's guaranteed. Not like uh, where you have credit card payments that can be... Uh, re um, charge back uh, within uh, within uh, a couple of weeks uh, you know there's no charge backs in Bitcoin you send it it's been sent it's instant so yeah definitely it's it's a payment method and, and, and uh, how do you solve like uh, errors uh, when uh, I do a payment error how, how will it be refunded or, or solved yeah, so this is something that we're working on. We're enforcing a protocol that actually pushes the right information uh, of the recipient's address and the amount of Bitcoin that needs to go to that address. We're pushing that out to the wallet of the, the person who's uh, purchasing uh, uh, goods or services with Bitcoin. Mm. So in that sense, because we enforce this protocol, it's not able to, to send it to the wrong address or send the wrong amount uh, to this address. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 
So actually, uh, you don't need to roll back the blockchain because that's something you don't want, I think. Well, it's, it, I've heard it's quite a hard thing to do. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the plans, uh, because you're responsible for Europe, European markets, w what are the trends? What is the sentiment? I mean, in the Netherlands, uh, we, we are not used to pay with Bitcoin, I think. You have thuis bezorgd, of course, mm -hmm. but that's, that's about it. Mm -hmm. If you know, do some name dropping. Yeah, well, <laughs> thuis bezorgd is definitely a big one, and uh, they're, they're a long customer of, of ours. And uh, yeah, the fact that there's people out there purchasing their pizzas with Bitcoin, to me, to me that's amazing. And I, I think we're going to see a lot more of that in, in the years to come. And if you, if you look at uh, your customers, uh, you told me that you have like hundreds of customers actually in, in Netherlands and also Europe. Yes, that's correct. Like from small mom and pop shops that are selling uh, RC cars uh, to, 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 to giants like, uh, like Thuisbezorgd and uh, to airlines like Air Baltic where you can pay your airline ticket uh, using Bitcoin. So yeah, the, it's, it's quite a versatile range of merchants that we service. And to me, again, that's, that's a positive thing. The focus is on Bitcoin. Uh, are there some other cryptocurrencies you focus on? So the ex right now, the, we accept Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, and we will be adding a third big currency in the in the pretty soon. Pretty soon. <laughs> and give, can you give us a little scoop? Um, <laughs> it's a big one. Okay. Okay. It's like a top three, top five. Somewhere in that range. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's uh, let's conclude with a few questions. What 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 is the biggest challenge actually? What's the biggest challenge you meet in conversations with existing industries if it comes to uh, Bitcoin payments? I'd say education. People st like for a lot of old school companies, Bitcoin still has a bad name, which it derived from its very early days, where it was used for. Um, illicit things on the internet that regular money couldn't touch. So I guess it's really educating the companies and, and explaining them that to them there's no risk, but also that this is a thing that's happening, it's growing, and you know they, they need to jump on that bandwagon because it's, it, it, it is the future. And to, conc to conclude, I mean, what are your uh, picks uh, personally in the market? I mean, do you invest yourself in crypto? I do invest myself. I don't get too heavily involved with uh, day trading or all that kind of stuff. It would also be not be up to me to, to, to predict the future on that. Um, I really I really like Bitcoin as it's like the founding yeah, the founding father of all cryptos. Mm -hmm. And um, in that sense, I'm yeah I'm Bitcoin will not fade away. Uh, okay. Although people say it will, it will not happen anytime soon. Thank you very much for your time, Max, and uh, all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me again.